Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today we're going to be talking about my monthly makeup basket for July. I'm a little behind posting these. So I'm going to talk about the makeup that I'm going to be wearing in July and the perfumes that I'm going to be using as well. So let's get to it. Let's start with perfume. As you guys have maybe seen in a few of my videos, I've really been enjoying the Dossier brand and they have been so kind to send perfumes for me to try out and I'm so appreciative because I love perfume. It's really difficult to find cruelty-free perfume and I also hate spending the money on high-end perfume. So Dossier is perfect for me because it, it fits the the bill of everything I'm looking for. Cruelty free, affordable, delicious smelling scents. So they actually sent me two perfumes this month. I'm going to be using this one, the Gourmand Orange Blossom. This is inspired, I have the card because I don't, I don't remember notes. I don't think I don't know. This is inspired by Lancome La Vie Belle. I probably said that wrong. Orange Blossom, Black Currant, and Hazelnut with middle notes of Oris, Jasmine, Sambac, Patchouli, and base notes of praline, vanilla, and tonka bean. And it smells delightful. This is one of those perfumes that I do smell every time I go into Ulta. So this is the primary perfume that I'll be using in July. I am probably gonna dip into this other one that they sent as well. But I had my daughter pick and she chose Gourmand Orange Blossom. So this retails for $29 for 1.7 fluid ounces. The 1.7 fluid ounce of the Lancome perfume is $100. This is the perfume that we will be using this month. I will have a link and a discount code in the description box that will give you 10% off any perfume on the Dossier website. And it is Amanda A10. But I'll put it in the description box as well and you can get an additional 10% off these already affordable prices, which I love. And the other perfume that I have to try is Fruity Honey. This is inspired by Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. I have never owned a Jo Malone perfume because they are inexpensive. This has top notes of black currant and green leaves, middle notes of honey and nectarine, and base notes of peach and vetiver. And I'm discovering that I really like things that have vetiver in them. Let's spray it some on the card. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. This one is not floral, it's more fruity, but it's also a little, it's a little like earthy. Mm. It's, but it smells kind of clean. Like I feel like I would be someone who makes my living selling at a farmer's market wearing this perfume, but I mean that in a good way. This is again $29 for the 1.7 fluid ounce. Uh, there was no 1.7 fluid ounce of a Jo Malone perfume that I could find. The one ounce is $72 and then the 3.4 ounce is $142. Definitely a much more affordable option, especially if you like to try new perfumes. I love trying new perfumes. I do own quite a few. You guys have seen my perfume collection. That has been over years and years of accumulation, but I do like trying new perfumes. I don't have one scent that's, you know, my signature scent. I like trying a lot of different fragrances and this price point is so much more feasible for doing that but almost even more than the prices I just love that they're cruelty free because most most of the high-end uh, fragrances are not so thank you Dossier and I like the bottles I like how simple they are and that they're all the same shape and size I really like that that makes lining things up so pleasing to me. <laughs> so again, I'll put that discount code in the description box and you get 10% off any perfume or more than one. Okay, now we're gonna get to the makeup. So I have this enormous bin of products. Oh, where should we start? Let's start with complexion. I just have one, maybe two little complexion things. This is the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Anti-Redness Mattifying Primer. I'm trying to work through a lot of my primers to see if I even really enjoy using them. Since I don't wear foundation, sometimes primer seems pointless for me. There are also different benefits to primers. Um, Anti-redness and mattifying. I really want to test this. I'm pretty sure I bought this at TJ Maxx. 
not that long ago, but the nature of TJ Maxx makeup is usually it's older makeup, so I don't I don't I don't know the lifespan on this. So I need to put this to the test, but I like the packaging too. I like that it's in a squeezy tube. This was at the bottom of the bin, so I haven't used this yet, even though it's July 6th. I'm drinking a cherry slush Alani oh, New Energy drink and they taste exactly like a cherry slushy. Oh, it's so good. The other kind of complexion product is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. And I'm putting this in here because this is in my project use up for the year and I have not used it once yet. So I need I need to put some work in, in on this guy. Uh, it is a loose powder and that's not my favorite. One of the reasons it's in here as an item that I would like to use up this year. We have a lot of cheap things. So last month I was using the Tower 28 blush and I really liked it. It came with this little blister card with other shades and I would like to try these other shades, particularly Golden Hour because I love like a red orange blush. I love it so much. And then also uh, even Power Hour. I think this is a beaut looks like a beautiful deeper color. This is the color that I own, Magic Hour, and I really do. I really do like it. But I'm going to use these uh, to potentially, you know, see if, I, see if I need more cream blush. I accumulated so much cream blush in April, it wasn't even funny. The other, one of the other blushes is the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush. This is in the shade Mykonos. This is what I'm wearing today. It's very peachy. But something about this peach I like. I'm not normally a peach blush person, but in the summer I like orangey, reddish, peachy blush. And I, I love these blushes. They really last all day. I, I love this blush. There are like four more cream blushes. One from Rare Beauty. This is the Love Blush, the Dark Red. I just wanted to use this formula a little bit more. I've only used it a few times since I, I think I purchased these in October or shortly after the brand launched or I, I don't know I know I did a video about it if I remember I will link it up here but I I haven't really used them since and since I'm using a lot of my other cream blushes I thought you know I need to use this guy also it's a mini I love a mini blush because when am I ever going to use a, a whole one I'm not I'm just not so I want to give this guy a try give it some love we have the Fenty cheeks out cream blush this is in the color Fenty glow and it's kind of, I mean, it's basically a bronzer for me, except I, you know, I love like a weird, not weird, just a different color blush. Does this have shimmer in it? Oh, there is a, there is a little bit of a, a sheen or a shimmer in this, it looks like. Mm, oh. There's a little bit of a shimmer in this, which I didn't realize. I haven't worn this yet. I have one other color in the Cheeks Out uh, blush. It's called... I always want to call it Flamingo, but I think it's called Crush on Cupid. It's bright, but these are very blendable blushes. They you know, can be built up if you want a bright pink cheek. It can be built up to that, but otherwise you can use a light hand and blend out the color and it looks like a pretty blush and not oh what did you do to your cheeks there Amanda so I'm gonna try this color. okay we have three more cream blushes I know no we have four more cream blushes because I purchased that doll 10 hydrogel cream balm eight piece kit for $29 I still have four of the blushes in I was using four last month oh we haven't used this one this one is called you're making me blush and then we have a pop star peach. And then we have Vegas Nights. Vegas Nights is one of my favorites. It's so far I've used this one probably the most. So Vegas Nights, pop star peach, you're making me blush. And then this one is called Stepping Out. They're very similar in tone. I absolutely don't need all of them. However, these are really nice blushes. I enjoyed the blushes that I used last month. I used, I wore a, a cream blush almost every day in June, I think. I had a lot of cream blush in my um, melted makeup basket and even when I 
was trying to use other things, I kept gravitating towards these blushes. These are very nice blushes. I even like this peach one, which I thought I wouldn't. I might be coming around to peach a little more, you know? I want to focus on my cream blushes more, especially right now, because I do have so many of them, and these definitely have a shorter lifespan than a powder blush, and I want to get as much use out of them as I can. And I'm also just really enjoying wearing them. Even though it's hot, I'm I'm still enjoying wearing them. I don't find that they're melting off my face, they're lasting, and they're just really an enjoyable product for me to use right now. And then the last blush is Urban Decay Afterglow Bang. I told you I love red orange blush. <laughs> I love this blush. I don't think they make these anymore. I think you can still find them every now and then, but every time I go to link one, I can't find that one. So I don't know what they're doing with their blushes, but I love these. I have three or four of them. They last all day on my cheeks. The red looks terrifying, but again, if you just put a little bit on, and blend it, they blend nicely. It's just a really fun color, and obviously if you have a deeper skin tone, this will look great on you, but my pasty self wears it with a light hand, and I just love the way it looks. For highlighting products, we have the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm All Over Diamond Veil and Fenty Glow. This is a cream product. Like I'm kind of confused by this product, but that's why it's in here because I need to figure out how I like to use it. I'm fairly certain you can wear this on your eyes or face or body. So um, it's very, it kind of shears out to just look like shimmer. It's pretty. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really understanding the best way to use it. So if you have this product, how do you like to wear it? I'm not that creative. Then we have the Laura Geller Baked Illuminator. Nope. Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. This was such a YouTube favorite so many years ago, and I don't really feel like people talk about it anymore. It's still a beautiful, beautiful gold highlight. Um, but I think that this formula is really nice. It's very finely, well, it's baked, but it doesn't look glittery, it, it looks very smooth as far as the texture of the product and the highlighter. It's going to accentuate any texture on your face, but the product itself looks smooth um, in a swatch. And this, I think, is the only Laura Geller highlighter that I have kept because I love this one the most. Milani Highlighter Duo in Power Up. This has a cream and a powder highlight. This is the cream and then this is the powder side, so cream and powder. The cream feels, it feels like a powder, but an incredibly silky powder. Um, it's a little bit lighter also, so I actually kind of like the lighter shade more than the powder shade because it's a little bit more gold and this is a little more brassy gold, I guess. But uh, so far I like this. I've used this a few times so far and I really like it. I, I mean, I'm not that surprised. I love Milani. Then we have the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Spoon. This is such a bright white almost it's like a cool tone pinky highlight it's very evident very bright very noticeable and lastly the becca shimmering skin perfector in moonstone it just feels like i should be using all of my becca more since they are closing i think they've already released their their last product the becca highlighters are so amazing they really have such a fantastic formula moonstone is such a beautiful highlighter because it's fair enough that you can, I don't like saying something is very wearable or it's everyday because it's makeup, it's all wearable, but if you don't want an overpowering highlight, I still, I don't think that this is an overpowering highlight. I think that this gives such a pretty sheen and a glow, but it's not in your face. Um, Moonstone is one that I've been reaching for a lot already, especially because it's nostalgic. And I really do love the Becca highlighter. This is from Chaos Makeup. It's called Hybrid. No, it's, it's a hybrid multi-chrome and it's called Solar. So it looks white and then pink and then also greenish blue depending on the light. It's, you see the green, you see the purple. On my hand right now, it looks green and purple in this angle, but it's probably going to look mainly green on camera. Really finely milled, beautiful uh, texture. 
It feels like a nice texture. Chaos Makeup was on my list of brands to try in 2020. Okay, we have like a thousand eyeliner. First, the Fenty Beauty, what are you called? Two in one glitter release eyeliner. Either Eclipse or Neptune, I'm not sure. This is a dark green eyeliner. It dries down to sort of a green black, but when you, once it dries, then you rub a brush or a Q-tip over it, it looks like a shimmery green. I don't use my liquid eyeliners very often. I'm pretty bad about that. So this is a way to, <laughs> to use more of those. Uh, we do have an eyeshadow crayon in here. This is from Urban Decay. They recently sent me a package of eyeliners and then this crayon and a single shadow, which I'm going to show you in a second. And this is called uh, Chaos. This is one of their eyeshadow sticks. It's a really beautiful cobalt blue. It feels really creamy as I swatch it. It does dry fairly quickly though. So I've mainly been wearing this as an eyeliner because I find when I try to blend this out with a brush, even after just a few seconds, it's not moving. Um, or if I blend too quickly, it just sort of blends everything away. So I'm playing around with this. I love the color. I'm not sure I love the formula yet. Then we have the Milani Metallic Lights Foil Eyeliner in Blu-ray. I don't think they sell these anymore, um, which is unfortunate because these eyeliners are fantastic. They're very bright, metallic. I love a blue eyeliner. And then we have two from ColourPop, the cream gel liners in Venus, this red, and Punch, the yellow. The yellow is a lot more dry than Venus. That is the frustrating part about these eyeliners. So the red is just, it's just much more creamy than the yellow. I do like both of them. And then we have four eyeliners from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glider and Pencils. Some of my very favorites. This is Deviant, a bright shimmery blue, and then these are the three that they sent this um, sent me this month. Psychedelic Sister, it's fantastic, oh super creamy purple, and then Freak, the most fantastic lush lime green shimmer, and then Zero, the black Psychedelic Sister, Freak zero. Love Urban Decay eyeliners. They are my favorite. I wear them. I talk about them and have for years. For mascara, I have three, but I, I did recently just buy a mascara, so I wanted to try it, so I added it to this list. But first is the Tarte Tartist Mascara. Um, I'm just going through my masc mascara drawer right now, trying to use up some of the older ones and really like hone in on what I like for mascara. Because I love trying them, but I don't like a lot of them. <laughs> and then we also have the oh gosh, that's why I have those. The Butter London Stroke of Wow Volumizing Mascara. I'm not quite ready to open this one yet. I can't remember if I've tried this one before. I feel like I have, but it's also been in my mascara drawer for so long that maybe I've just seen it in there a bunch. <laughs> and then the Kosas, the Big Clean Mascara. This is just a mini. The one that I recently purchased was from Oma Beauty by Sharon C. at Walmart, and this is called Batter Boom Au Natural Volumizing Mascara. And I just got the color black, y'all. This is at Walmart, I think it was $7.99. I'm curious to see uh, how I like this. I hope I like it. A drugstore mascara is what I'm looking for. I do have two single eyeshadows that I want to test out this month. In addition to my ColourPop palettes, I'll leave that video linked up here, but this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow in Floored. They sent a single. I like the, the clear packaging. I much prefer this to the tins that they used to come in. This is a berry pink shade. It's very vivid. And I love pink eyeshadow. So I want to try that. I don't reach for singles that often, which is my fault. But then the other shadow is called Just the Girl, and this is from Chaos Makeup. So it's berry to orange green. It's. I wish you could see. Hold on, let me take a picture of my finger in this. Um, it looks absolutely mesmerizing. They have a so. Oh my gosh. It's pink, it's green, it's pink, it's green. Pink. Green. Pink. 
I cannot wait to put this in my eyes. And now we are up to lip products, and there are like 75. Uh, what I'm wearing today, which is mostly worn off, is the Milani Ludicrous Gloss in Just Peachy. This is my favorite gloss formula, I'm going to say it. They keep discontinuing like certain shades though. I don't really like that. Teen Spirit is my favorite gloss ever. I love the color, I love the formula. They're a little sticky, but not anything obnoxious. This e.l.f. Sheer Slick um, Lipstick in Orange Crush. I have worn this a few times and I, I don't love this as much as I thought I would. It's a little patchy. I'm going to keep wearing it, but uh, I'm not loving this like I thought I would. The Tarte Lip... What is this called? Tarte Color Splash Lipstick in Set Sail. A really beautiful mauve. Two from Odin's Eye. These came in my mystery <laughs> Odin's Eye box, which at some point I will get around filming it, maybe all, but it's months overdue at this point, so it's kind of pointless. Uh, there were two lip products in that box. This is the Alva um, Cream Lipstick in Tulip Tulipa Kiss. A dark Bordeaux color almost. And then we have the Alva Matte Lip Stain in Sweet Um I have worn this uh, a few times, and this I, I think I will probably get a little more use out of versus the darker lipstick. But it's a lip stain, sort of a burnt orange terracotta color. I like those types of colors. And then all of the glosses. So the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Cheeky. I really enjoy these glosses. I like the formula. I like the scent. Uh, the shimmer is nice, but it's not gritty. Uh, they don't last forever, but they're not meant to. The Buxom Full On Lip Cream in Rose Julep. It's a lovely rose shade. The Tower 28 Beauty Lip Jelly. Shine and Lip Jelly in Coconut. Another like everyday color. I don't love the smell of this. I don't know if it smells like coconut or if it smells weird. I don't I don't really love the smell of coconut, so that might be why. But the color is really beautiful. The Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Cream in Sangria, a red. The Joseph Colors Over the Top Gloss, because I have not worn this in forever, and you know, why not wear an over the top gloss? And then the other thing that I purchased from Walmart and the Oma by Sharon C line is the It's Complicated Lip Tint Plus Oil Plus Gloss in the color. Oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oh my gosh. In the color Pang. And it's this really lovely berry color. But since it's a lip oil, lip tint, I, I thought that I would enjoy this slightly darker color. I also love the clear wand. I don't know why, but the clear stem applicator just makes me so happy. And how is product not getting on the wand? That is the makeup that I'll be wearing in July. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these things. Have you seen the Oma by Sharon T brand in your Walmart? I found it <laughs> the back of the makeup section on a cardboard display box that was, I'm assuming, supposed to go up front somewhere and it was just kind of shoved in the back. I was shocked I found it at all because my Walmart never gets makeup in when it is supposed to be released. Don't forget to check out the Dossier website. I'll have the link and uh, discount code in the description box. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, hey, make sure you hit subscribe. Let me know if you have any video suggestions or anything that you like to see on the channel and I'll talk to you in my next video.